Dr. Adam Klein and his wife Belkis to our Lafayette Kiwanis Club meeting. Dr. Klein is a native of Lafayette, Indiana. He went to Lafayette Jefferson, attended Ball State University where he wrote his capstone business plan for chiropractic clinic. In 2003, he graduated from Logan College of Chiropractic in St. Louis, and he began his practice in the mountains of North Carolina where he met his lovely wife. And they now have two, two beautiful daughters, right? Dr. and Mrs. Klein moved back to Indiana in 2005, opened a clinic in Fowler. His West Lafayette office, which is just down the road here, opened in 2008. The clinic is right next to uh, Burger King, I believe. And uh, Lafayette Branch just opened this year, uh, and it's located behind Sushi Don and uh, Main Street and uh, Sagamore Parkway in Lafayette. Elkis Klein was born in the Dominican Republic, went to school and college in Santiago where she studied business and hotel administration. While working as a chiropractic assistant, she received a certification as a Zumba instructor in 2008. And in 2011, she completed comprehensive training in Bassi Pilates. She is currently teaching Pilates at the Klein Chiropractic Clinic, and I have been a student of hers for nearly two years. Dr. Klein is a strong proponent of Pilates and began offering Pilates to rehabilitation nearly 10 years ago to complement his overall mission to improve the health, functionality, agility, and overall quality of life of children, athletes. I've seen him work with a number of Purdue students, seniors in our community as well. And with that, I'd like to turn today's program over to Adam and Belkis Klein. They'll be discussing how to feel great no matter what age you are. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I was informed first that my wife uh, wants to speak first, so I'm going to turn the mic over to her. All right. Just like what he said, I'm from the Dominican Republic, so I speak Spanish. I will try to speak slowly, that way you guys can understand me. Um, I want to show you something here that I brought. So I am a Pilates instructor at Client Chiropractic. And I just want you guys to imagine just for a second that you guys have uh, two flashlights coming out of your shoulders. I just want you to imagine that, just two flashlights coming out of your shoulders. And I want you to think, where is that flashlight pointing to? So for some of you, that flashlight is gonna be pointing up which means that you are here and your lower back muscles there nice and tight. If your flashlight are pointing down, that means that this muscle right here, they're weak and here you're really tight. So we want our flashlight to point straight out. It's easy to say, but it's not easy to do because if your chest muscle is really tight, and your back muscles are really weak, then it doesn't matter how much you try, you're always gonna end up here. So that's what we do uh, with the Pilates classes. We try to strengthen the muscles back here, that way you're nice and tall, and then we stretch the muscles here. We do most of the exercises on neutral spine. And I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So neutral spine is where you keep the natural curve of your spine. So if I put this behind me, uh, I just want to scrape. So if I put this behind me, my head would be touching, and here I will be touching, here I am not touching. So my neck is not touching, and my lumbar is not touching. Everything else is touching. So if you work out, Thinking about that, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> now, what happens is that when we work out, when we walk, when we run, when we bike, we sometimes do it here or we do it here, and that's why we end up having problems. So, if you wanna try Pilates, 
We would be happy to have you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know you were such a great speaker. <laughs> First off, uh, um, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Adam Klein, and it is a pleasure to be here today. It's an honor. This is an amazing group. Um, you know, I, I've been, I've e eaten here at uh, MCL Cafeteria many times about this time, and I see everybody coming in here. Uh, but it's, it's an honor to, to get to be with you all today to, to tell you what it is that we do. Um, I'm a chiropractor, obviously, and what my passion is, is helping people stay healthy without <clears throat> drugs, without medicine, and without surgery. So, I have a question. How do you age gracefully? How, how do you stay healthy so that you can minimize the amount of time you need to go to the doctor, the amount of medicine that you need to take? It's not easy. So as a chiropractor, I know that to stay healthy, you got to keep your body moving. Right, you've got to move. Most of us deal with flexibility issues. As we age, we get tight. No matter, no, actually, it doesn't matter your age. Uh, I had the example of uh, my my daughter, who is nine. The other, the other, about a week or two ago, she started limping, and she's only nine, and she was limping. She said, "Dad, my my foot hurts," and so you know I'm watching her limp and sometimes she'll limp and sometimes she won't uh, and I'm thinking what is she is she pulling my leg <laughs> and, and so finally I said Leah come over here let me check something you know I work on people who have pain who have heel pain all the time and so I, I check her flexibility and sure enough when I stretched her out you know she's whoa that hurts so she, she was just getting tight. She just hadn't been stretching. So we started stretching her out, and her heel pain got, got better. Uh, it's been about 10 years or so since I started doing Pilates. Uh, I, went, I went down, and I had to buy a piece of equipment, and uh, I was getting a used piece of equipment back in around 2008. And I, I met with a chiropractor, and he, he told me, you know, I really wish that I would have done, I, I could be doing Pilates. There's a Pilates studio next to his clinic. So my ears perked up, and I, I walked over there after I was done negotiating with him and looked at these funny, this funny table <coughs> that we have in the back here. And they were kind enough to, to put me on the table and let me use it. And I was shocked. I was shocked at how tight I was. This is the Pilates reformer. Just uh, let's go ahead and play this. This is Lily. She's been working out with us a long time. This is Keith. Keith is a, has Parkinson's. He works out with us twice a week. He also boxes over at, uh, it's a program they have for Parkinson over at Westminster. Is there any audio? Well, I have music, so. <laughs> and this is my beautiful wife. So what's neat about Pilates is it strengthens the body, it works on your flexibility, it improves your posture, <clears throat> And it improves body awareness. Most of us don't really know where we're at in space. You know, we just end up, we end up slouching. Gravity's not our friend. But when we, when we, if you can stretch, you can keep your body mobile, you keep your spine flexible, then you age gracefully. You can minimize the impact of gravity on your body. 
for things like arthritis in your spine, shoulder problems, neck problems. It's amazing stuff. What, what's so cool about it is it's very safe. It, it's great for, the reason I got into it is to help people with back pain and neck pain. I learned how to do Pilates from physical therapists. And it's an amazing addition to what we do for people. So it's, a, um, it's an honor to get to be here. It's an honor to, uh, to get to demonstrate this to you. So are there, are there any, uh, I think we have somebody that, uh, yeah, Gail, yeah, you yeah. said you're, you're willing to yeah, yeah. demonstrate a little bit? Yeah, I do. All right. All right. Awesome. We're going to go to the back, and uh, I'll, uh, we'll just take her through a, a, a session like we would a client, and you guys can kind of see what we do, okay? And then after we're done, if you, anybody has an interest in, in trying, more than happy to work with you. So at this point, I guess, are there any questions? Is anyone, anyone, uh, yes, Don? As... Someone who's never done that before. Yeah. I, I do exercise. I do a silver sneaker thing. Uh huh. And I'm watching the video up here. Yep. And I'm thinking, I can't even get into that position. <laughs> <laughs> I, how do you start? I, you don't do the one where you put your rear end down in the tray because I've done that and gotten there and not gotten out. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. How do you start? First off, everybody's different. Everybody has, has uh, limitations, right? So we don't treat uh, some people like we would uh, a collegiate athlete. Um, so, but what we start off with, if you can lay on your back, you can do Pilates. Okay, and we'll demonstrate here. They have these little bars down here, and right now it is at the level that nobody could move it. So we're going to wait for Melky to, to make, make it a little bit lighter weight for us. All right, so. Uh, Pilates has been around for over a hundred years. It was invented by Joseph Pilates, who was a German fellow. Uh, I'm going to put you on your back, face up. So what I'd like for you to do is go to your side first. Lay on your side. Put the head piece up for you. Okay. okay. Okay now, okay, now go to your back. Yep, right. Okay, now I'm going to bring this foot piece up for you. That's exercise. <laughs> okay, so now what, what's neat about this is we take gravity out of the equation, okay? So once you're on your back, what I'm going to have you do is pull in on your abdominals. Okay, I'm going to have you take a deep breath. And as you exhale, I want you to push your heels down through the foot bar and straighten your legs, wonderful. Inhale as you come in. Now, does this look complicated to anybody? No. Oh. Yeah, you're cheeky, you got Gail out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to turn this next? <laughs> okay, so, so we're just doing basic footwork right now. Now, slowly come up, keep your butt down. Now, how does that feel? What, do you, what are you feeling? Can you tell everybody what this feels like? Hamstrings. Okay, so she's getting a, a stretch through the back of her legs. Now exhale, push down. Keep your abdominals in. Now inhale, come up. Again, does this look difficult to anybody? Yes. <laughs> you can all come see me before you try. <laughs> you know what? The truth is, it is difficult for a lot of people. The more... Uh, I, I bet there's a lot of people in here that are very tight through their legs. And if you would, if we can get you to start stretching, it, it would make you feel much, much better with back pain, hip pain, knee pain. Okay, now... Your legs doesn't have to come up here. They can come up here. Okay. To start with. It feels just very good. No. Yeah, she, she has a lot of flexibility. So this, um, actually, let's just... Bring about right there. Now, I don't want the carriage to move, okay? So just come out to the side, okay? A little bit more now. Stop. Can you go a little? Is that all you got right there? Yeah, just about. Okay, now, what are you feeling? Uh, okay, can you can, can you show people where? So the inside, inside. of the legs. Inside yeah, the legs. When, when I tried at that chiropractic, when I went down to, and I tried Pilates for the first time, 
I was shocked at how tight I was on my inner thigh. When's the last time we ever stretch our, our, the inside of our legs? I never, I, hard, I never did. You know, I don't, so this opened my eyes because I was so tight. Now come back together. Okay, now let's go into circles, okay? So what I want you to do, bring your legs, feet together. Yes, sir. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, lower your legs to the bottom. Now open, coming around all the way to the top, and exhale down. Inhale, big circle. Now control it, go nice and slow. Looks good, Gail. Yeah. Okay, do one more and then reverse it. Okay, now touch, now open out. Exhale, coming down and together. Easier for her, she's 24 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you later, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Very good. Now, does anyone else want to try? She's a star student, so anybody else uh, brave enough to... Someone Nina. who's never done it before. Where's Nina? Yeah. Nina. Nina, come on. Go down the <laughs> Excuse me? Nina, come on, yeah, you're on, yeah. sweet. Come on. Nina. You're brave. Hey, listen, so now I'm going to let the, uh, the the star teacher. I have to tell you, I have two hip replacements. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So the easiest way to get on the machine is by sitting on the side, bending, bring both legs up. Okay. See how easy that was? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now bend to the side. Okay. There you go. There you okay. go. Now you gotta get back just a little bit. You're a little bit too high. Okay. 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 Okay
Do you have another question? Yes. You open your arms to the side. Just so no, it, it, it had been that long ago, I was able to sit under the bench and turn my own toenails. Yeah. Now I can't even reach my feet. So this is a typical situation. This is kind of massage on this too. So this this might do something like that. I read that. So to, to increase flexibility, I really should be doing it more than three couples. It's all about flexibility and, and movement and safety. Okay, you don't have a good job of using that? So, so, so I just can't need to go back there and talk about it. But it certainly helps stop the, uh, the progression of just getting tighter and tighter and tighter. So the thing is, it's about quality of life. So the question is, is there one exercise that's good for back pain? And the answer is no, there's not one exercise. There's many, many exercises. But, but uh, I mean, everything that we've done so far is great for back pain. So, is that and there's a lot of other things that we teach you that you can do a whole lot of things. You don't have to do a whole lot of things. Good question. Spell it. Spell it. P I L A T E S Pilates. Jo Joseph Pilates was the man that. Yes, sir. Your um, Parkinson's uh, client. Yes. What aid does this give to him? With Parkinson's, you get tight, right? And it's, a, it's a neurological disease, and it affects your muscles. And so um, it keeps him looser than he would. If he wasn't doing anything, he would just, you know, everything would get drawn up, and it'd be really increasingly difficult for him to, to function. So it doesn't remove, it doesn't cure uh, but it just keeps him more functional. Yes, sir. What frequency do you use? Wonderful question. So how often do you do it? We recommend twice a week, but some people, you know, due to time and money, they come in once a week. Uh, but to get the most bang for the buck, we recommend twice. Hey, Doc. Uh, so first of all, you can ask Doc if the trailer is in there, because he lives right next to Cliff, who's got the trailer that we need. So is the trailer on in front of Cliff's house right now? The trailer. Yeah, I'm joking. Um, so how often do you teach the classes, or you know, what are what what's your schedule there? And yeah, how come Dr. Rusk didn't send me over to see your wife after he tried to you know gave me shock therapy the other day? Uh, that's a good question. You have to hear Dr. Rusk. After what was your question? What do you what do you, what do you, what do you teach, or what are your schedule? What, what are your hours? Yeah, we have class, we have classes every day. Okay. Um, ways of helping. Most of the classes are Chinese and Japanese. Yes. Yes. Noon classes. There's even late classes. Very good. Seven in the evening. So yeah, it's a uh, 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 class at both locations. So you can hold it here and pull it down. Yeah. The, the trailer okay. we're using for our Christmas parade is mm -hmm. right next to us. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the length of the class, how long does the class last? It depends. When you're new and you come in, most of the time, the, the people that come in initially, if you're if you're what I'll call deconditioned, if you're pretty weak. Most of the time, we don't go over a half an hour. But once you get up to speed, if anybody would volunteer, we'd be happy. Don, come on up. But once you get up to speed, the classes are roughly an hour long. No pain, right? Treat you roughly for an hour. Dan, I'm sorry. I was talking about Does she have to still be on here? Yeah. Come on over here. Come on, Dan. Dan, I'm sorry. Now you're going to just come out the same way that you get Are you ready? Yeah, I guess I'm ready. I'll tell you in a minute. Do you have any anything we need to know about? Any back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain? No. 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 Feel good? Not yet. What, what is one of these? The cost of, of the, the machine. I'd rather, rather not discuss it. They're, they're quite expensive. Okay, so let's see. 
And normally we clean the machine every time that somebody uses them, but today... For seniors, this stuff is great for people that don't normally exercise. The myth is that that you have to be in good shape to take this, and that, that's the opposite. This stuff is great for people that don't normally exercise and need a little help to get moving. So, so we got a yeah, you can sleep while you're working out. Yeah, we have. Uh, Lenny just told me before everybody starts leaving, we have coupons, we have information about the clinic up front. Um, so please pick something up, uh, information about what we do if you are interested. Detention feels okay. It's probably Again, I want to thank you guys very, very, very much for letting us uh, come in and, and show you what we do. It's really an honor. Uh, and it's, it's amazing stuff. So thank you very much.